Hi, today I will talk about JSON parsing from URL. So today you will learn how to get the JSON value from URL. So we will parse the JSON value and list the data. So let's start. Open your Android Studio. Now click on start a new Android Studio project. Select empty activity, click on next. Name of your application. Here we select the language Java and Android X. Click on finish. First we will create one class and this class we will create to set up the HTTP connection. So create one class and name it handler. Here the get simple name written the simple name of the underlying class. Now create one empty constructor. Now we will create one method that will make a request and get the response from the internet. Obtain a HTTP URL connection by calling URL.open connection and casting the result to the HTTP URL connection. So here we use HTTP URL connection. Now we will read the response. So here we use input stream. Now we will convert the result to the string. So here we create one method. Now we will create JSON file. So open your browser. So first we will create our JSON URL as we don't have any URL. So we will create online. Click on JSON generator. So here we write our JSON code. Now we create one array, which is a collection of objects.
similarly create other objects now click on generate upload json to server and copy the json file url here you can see the json file if you want to validate your json file open jsonlint.com copy your json data paste it here and click on valid json here you can see the valid json the result is valid json it means our json file is correct now we will display the data in list view so click on rds layout activity main.xml and here we use list view Now to display the item in a list view, we will create upon another layout and name it item. Here we use linear layout. And add one text view. Now click on main activity. First we get the reference of list view from XML file by using find by ID. Now URL to get the JSON. Here we paste our URL. Now create one array list of type hash map. Now we create one class to get the names. This class extend async task. Now, this method do in background. This method make connection and receive response from the server. Here we create the object of enter class. Now we making a request to URL and getting response. And here we pass our URL. We create an JSON object. Here we pass JSON string. Now we get the JSON array.
here we use get json array method and here we pass our root element employee now we will get all the names so here we use loop And here we pass i. Now we will add each child node to hash map. Now we will add our name to the name list. Now inside the get name class, we will create one on pro execute method, which this method is most commonly used for setting up and starting a progress dialog. Now we will show a progress dialog. Inside this get names, we will create on post execute method. So this method we will use when we are out of the background thread. So we can use, we can do user interface manipulation with the response data. We dismiss our progress dialog. Now after that. We will set our data to our list view. Now click on manifest file. Here we add internet permission. And run the project. Here you can see the JSON data in list view. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you.